Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to add a macOS look to your Windows 11 and how to change the appearance of your operating system with the help of special themes and configuration tools. Windows users always like to customize this operating system to suit their particular needs and took a special interest in changing various elements of its interface in all sorts of ways. Especially popular are desktop themes, which can turn your Windows into Linux, macOS, or another operating system, and do that with a single click. In today's video, I'll show you how to change Windows 11 appearance and make it look like macOS by using a few utilities and a set of desktop themes. All the things I'm going to use are freely available on the Internet, and you can find all the links in the description below this video. Before you start changing the appearance of your operating system, you need to create a restore point. This will enable you to roll everything back if something goes wrong or you don't like the final look of your Windows. Open Settings About System Protection Select the system drive and click Configure. In the window that opens, turn on System Protection and allocate disk space for a restore point. Apply. OK. Going back to the previous window, click Create. Choose a name. Create. Wait until the process is over. And now the restore point is created. After that, hide desktop icons. Right click on the desktop. View and uncheck the option Show Desktop Icons. After that, download a utility called Secure UX Theme. You can find its source code on GitHub. Secure UX Theme is a software that removes signature verification of styles from Windows. Follow the link to download this file themetool.exe. Find its location and copy the file to the root folder of your system disk. After that, run it as administrator and agree to the license conditions. In the installer window, check the following options – Hook system settings, Hook logon UI and click Install. Then hit Yes to reboot. After that, download macOS themes for Windows by following the link. You can find themes by visiting the website called DeviAnt, and you'll need to register to be able to download files. Navigate to your Downloads folder and extract files from the archive. Right-click on the archive, show Advanced Settings, 7-zip, Extract here. Open a new window for the system disk and follow this path. After that, copy the downloaded themes to this folder. Then go to Disk C and run the Theme Tool utility as administrator. After that, you'll need to patch the themes you have just added. In the window that opens, select them and click Patch. When you're finished, try to apply one of the styles by clicking on the Apply button. For example, to start using a style called Light or BBDM. As you can see, 
now the Windows buttons look exactly like the same buttons in macOS. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Let's continue with customization and download another zip file by following this link. This zip archive contains a collection of utilities and graphics components for further configuration. They all come in one package to save you the trouble of having to look for all each of them. I leave direct links to the web resources under the video if it's necessary for you. Extract the archive contents into the same folder. For starters, let's add macOS icons. To do that, open the first folder and run this file 7 step GUI as administrator. First of all, let's install icons for the light scene. Click Add a custom pack here and give the path to this file. After that, choose Start Patching and hit Yes. Wait for the end of installation and agree to reboot. When the operating system boots again, you'll see enough notifications saying that the system has been patched and click OK. Opening the file explorer, you will notice that all the icons have changed. You can move on to download a utility called Start All Back. It brings the classic Windows 7 style menu for the Start button in your Windows 11. Download and install the utility. At this stage, select Install for me. In the window that opens, choose these settings. Select the first option, then jump to the Explorer tab and choose Win7 command bar. Uncheck the boxes for Mika effect on top and Classic search box. Then open the Advanced tab and adjust transparency, then close the utility. Now you need to move the taskbar to the top of the screen. Unlock it and drag it upwards while holding down the left mouse button. Right-click on the taskbar and open its properties. Then change the icon size to S. Another utility to be installed is Left Sider. It is a simple tool created to move the window control buttons to the left side of the window. Go to your Downloads folder and open the folder you have previously extracted from the archive. Copy this folder containing the utility to your system drive's root directory. Open the folder and send the program's shortcut to the desktop. Right-click on the Start menu and select Run. Then type the following command – shell startup. and click OK. Move the shortcut from the desktop to the folder that opens and disable display desktop icons. Go to the folder containing the program and launch the application. Now the window control buttons will be displayed on the left. Another setting 
deals with changing the cursor appearance. We are going to install macOS style cursors. Open the directory containing files from the zip archive and open the folder with the cursors. Right click the file with the name install.inf and select install. Then right click on the desktop, open personalize, themes, mouse cursor. From this drop-down list, select the latest installed version. Click Apply, then Yes and OK. Now that you have changed the cursor, let's move on to the next folder containing icons with the name Big Sur. Copy the folder Big Sur Doc Icons to the root folder of the system drive. After that, you'll need to download another tool called My Doc Finder. This is a comprehensive solution by Chinese software engineers that disguises most Windows desktop elements and adds the missing modules from macOS. The program source code is available on GitHub. Extract and copy it to the root directory of drive C. Then go to my doc directory and copy it to the root folder of the system drive. Go to this folder, which is located on the system drive, and run the file mydo.exe. If you encounter an error, you need to install Microsoft Visual C from this folder and then run mydoc again. Let's add a light theme. Right click on the taskbar and select Preferences and choose Light from the list. After that, go to Advanced Settings, scroll down to find MacDoc and click OK twice. Open the settings again and check the box for Auto Start. Open Advanced. Turn on Windows Borders to prevent blocking windows. In the Monitor tab, you can add system indicators to the menu. That is, the CPU load, memory use, GPU temperature and hard disk space will be displayed. Also, there are many other settings that you can adjust to suit your needs. After your reboot, your Windows desktop will look as if you're using a computer with macOS. One of the downsides of using Launchpad is that you have to add icons manually. To add an icon in Launchpad, right-click on the icon, choose Add icon, drag the icon to this window and click OK. To remove it, right-click on the icon and click Delete this icon. You can move folders and program shortcuts to the taskbar. To change your system appearance even more, let's add a clock widget on the main screen. You can do it with the RainMeter widget and a clock skin for it. Download and install RainMeter widget. and bluish air clock skin for this widget from the DeviArt website. Open the widget installer, uncheck the box next to Apply included layout and then click Install. Drag the folder onto the shortcut to copy it with the right path.
Alternatively, use these paths to copy the directory there. Start RainMeter. Open the Layouts tab. Click Refresh All. Select macOS and click Load. After that, the clock will appear on the screen. You can move the widget around the screen and change its size by using the mouse wheel. The folder extracted from the archive also contains some macOS wallpapers. You can uh, set them as a desktop background by right-clicking on one of them and choosing Set as Desktop Background. Here is another setting that lets you use Apple and Windows menus at the same time. When you left-click or right-click here, you can open the Apple menu or the Windows menu. Left-click for Apple and right-click for Windows. If you want to cancel the new appearance settings, just go back to the, late, to the latest restore point. To do that, open Start, Settings, System, About, System Protection, System Restore. Then click Next. Choose a restore point from the list, Next, Finish, and then Yes to start the system restore process. Files and settings will be prepared for restore operations, and after the reboot, your computer will be back to its original state. If some settings haven't changed yet, remove all the folders that have been copied in the process of configuration and all the additional programs. To change the icons, open the folder from the extracted archive and launch 7-step GUI. Click Restore, OK, and Yes. When this process is over, the icons will change. To cancel the changes in the system's appearance without using the System Restore feature, do the following. Right-click on the taskbar, Preferences, uncheck the box for Auto Start at Boot, And then close My Dock by clicking on End the program. Resize the taskbar. And drag it back to the bottom of the screen. Then go on to Uninstall applications. Find Start All back on the list and delete it. And do the same to Rain Meter. Now let's change folder icons. Open 7 step. In the window that appears, click Restore, OK, and restart the operating system. After that, delete left side. Open the Run window, use the command Shell Startup, and remove the program shortcut. Now open Theme Tool, check Hook System Settings and Hook Logon UI, and click Uninstall. Delete the program from the disk. Restart the computer and go to Drive C to remove all the remaining folders which you have copied before in the course of configuration process. Remove the corresponding folder from Downloads, then follow this path. See Windows, Resources, 
themes. And delete macOS themes from this folder. As you could see, the system appearance after all configuration steps looks exactly like macOS. If you work with macOS most of the time and you seldom have to use Windows, feel free to install MyDoc Finder and other tools to find your way in another operating system more effectively. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck. While you're watching this video, civilians in Ukraine are dying from attacks and bombardments on the Russian Federation. Putin's insane regime has attacked a peaceful country in the very heart of Europe. Support the Ukrainian army by making a contribution to the fund Come Back Alive. Use the QR code or the link below the video to transfer any amount of money that will boost Ukrainian resistance and help it counter Russia's dishonorable invasion.